Hi students, welcome back. So now let's see how to execute, uh, how to call the select query. So in the previous videos, I'll explain how to create the table and how to insert the values in the table by using the JDBC programs. Now let's try to use another query, select query. So in the previous video, I explained if you want to use a select query, we have to use the execute query is required, which is present in result set. Okay. So result set, uh, java.sql.result set package, there the execute query will be there. Execute query is used to uh, access the select command. So that is present in result set. Result set is an object that is encapsulate set of rows from the database. So that's why we are using the result set, which encapsulates the set of rows from database. So we need to select the rows, select start from student, whatever the uh, table name is. So for that, we have to use the result set. Result set is generated based on the SQL query only. Whenever the result set is generated, then result set cursor points to before first record only. Okay, so this is all I explained in the previous video. Now try to execute. So I inputted uh, java.sql.star and I have taken the select command. So this is the statement uh, that will be present in every program, in the JDBC program. So for creating the, for inserting and whatever you may, first you need to load the drivers by using class.furname oracle.jdbc.driver.oracle driver then establish the connection so how to establish the connection connection con is equal to driver manager is the class name okay dot get connection so this is a jdbc oracle thin uh, local host 1529 orcl mine is the oracle 19c uh, enterprises edition uh, so that's why i had using the orcl Okay, if it is an express edition, use XE and the username and the password. So statement STM is equal to con create statement. Up to here, it's everything. It's uh, the same for create uh, and uh, connect, create table and insert. Everything is the same. Now, try to use the result set. Result set. So result set is it's an object that it is present under SQL dot star package. Okay. So no need to mention java dot uh, land uh, land dot sql dot result set. No need to mention. So result set rs is equal to result set rs is equal to statement is equal to so statement is equal to so result set rs is an object reference. Uh, so for the result set rs is equal to statement stmt dot Okay, so use the query execute query is a method which is present under the result set package. Okay, so execute query. So what is the query select star from student. So that's it select star from student. So that all result set, it will be copying into RS, okay? So now what I have to do, I have to call the result set metadata. So metadata means data about data. Result set metadata, it means data about the result set, right? RS is contains only that uh, information related to the, uh, uh, that will be stored in the result set that I have to access okay and that i have to be print so for that result set metadata is required it means data about result set that i have to be take okay data about the result set so call result set meta data result set meta data let me take rm result set meta data rm is equal to Okay, RM is equal to call the result set RS dot get metadata. I have to take that metadata, right? Whatever that I stored in the uh, selected that I have to take. Get metadata. Okay, so let me take for loop. For because uh, whatever the rows that I have did, that all I, I need to be select. So for that, I need to take the for loop. For int I is equal to 1 i less than n i plus plus okay i less than n i plus plus so inside the for loop what i have to be doing i have to get all the columns i have to get all the columns system dot out dot print ln 
So what the column result set metadata rm dot get columns get column uh, column name okay whatever the column name is it rm dot get column name column name okay so let me take uh, a tab to print the statement t that's it system dot out dot print ln so okay so after that i have to print a space system dot out dot print ln let me print a space okay so now let me take a while loop while result set rs dot next so next it's a method it is going to take print the each and every cell okay so next i am taking a met, calling the method next so the cursor will move to the next okay so next rs dot next so now system dot out dot print ln rs dot get int so the first column whatever i have given that is a number right integer integer 1 the first index 1 okay it's a tab so this is the first row is going to be printed so first column because i am taking the get column name so and that is going to be printed and next column is it's not an integer it is a string get string that is second index is second and the next system dot out dot print and next integer that is a third column third column okay so it is accepting each and every column and exception if anything is uh, happened so it throws an exception so this is a program so try to save the program so open the sql prompt uh, system password i given as a banu db first connect the database so after connecting the database so now try to execute the program select dot java so now try to execute the program so here i have given an n n which is not declared so whatever the rows that you are uh, call uh, rows that you want to be selected you can mention so you want the four rows the five rows or you have to give like uh, you have to mention the n at the command line arguments okay uh, so now select right click run as java application see here roll number name and the marks which are taken from this is system dot out dot print and get column names so the column names are printed so next i have taken the rows has to be printed uh, so each row the first row is uh, integer 1 and the string is double triple a and the integer marks is 85 and the second row again the while loop is going on integer 2 uh, get integer string and then marks and then row number three marks and row number four marks and the five. Okay. So this is a way you have to select the data from database. So see here, select star from student. Okay. Select star from student in a one second. I'll just show you the command prompt. So in the command prompt, select star from students. So roll numbers. So these are the names. So whatever the roll numbers, names and the marks that are present in the uh, database. So those data is retrieved here and displayed here. Okay. So this is the way you have to use the select command. Thank you.